Well, 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 good afternoon, West Ham fans. Let's try and predict an unpredictable 11. Yes, everybody, Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new and dear, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share. Give it a bloody good subscribe. Anyway, in a few short hours, we kick off against Freiburg in the last group stage game of this Europa League campaign. For the third year in a row, we've got out of the group stage. We're guaranteed, um, as always asks, always likes, um, European football after Christmas. Um and today's uh, tonight's game really does deter- determine who will top the group and who will come second. Obviously, you come second, you go into the playoffs where you'll be greeted with a third place um, Champions League side, uh, the likes of AC Milan, Longs, Galatasaray, amongst others, have all dropped into the Europa League, and that will be drawn. I think it's tomorrow. I think so. Don't quote me, but I think it's tomorrow. Um, and so, yeah, so, but you know, so, and then obviously we've got Wolves on Thursday, on a, on Sunday, both games at London Stadium, which I think is a tick, which is a good thing. So those traveling, there's no, um, there's no excuses there in terms of a poor performance against Wolves on Sunday. Um, because yes, we're going to play Thursday, but there's no traveling involved. Um, now this is probably going to be the hard, it's probably the hardest 11 I've predicted for a while, because the reason is Moyes has given nothing in his press conference, gave nothing in terms of updates around the virus, who's got it, who ain't got it, who's recovered, who's not recovered. <coughs> it's, and it's really, I think it's, it's fascinating, really, because, yes, we've got Wolves on Thursday, on Sunday, rather. Um, today's Thursday, I sort yourself out. Um, but. I really think this is the important game. This this is this game is important because this game actually can save us games. Because obviously, if we win or draw, if we don't lose tonight, then we top the group, which means we don't have to start playing again in Europe until March time. If we don't, then we go into the playoffs, and that would be February. So actually, this could re- winning the game is a, is a real incentive for us to actually save some games and not play some football. Um, so that's why I think personally, from my perspective, it would be a full strength, as full of a strength side we can get out today as possible because the Wolves game is going to be a tough game anyway. The return of Ballon Dawson as well, it'll get a clap from me. Um, but it really is a case of we need to, we need to get result. Actually, I think it's worse that we know that all we've got to do is not lose. We set up to not lose, we set up for the draw, we will lose. So actually, I would like to us to see us getting on the front foot, getting something. I'd like to see us for once, because we've talked about spoke about this for so long. Just playing a full strength side, trying to get a result, and then if we need, and then if it's you know, not a full conclusion because Freiburg are a bloody good side. Um, you know, they got to the last 16 last year in the Europa League, so they're no mugs. But then think about bringing in, bringing on some other, you know, some squad players, for example, if we have squad players available. Um, it looks like, I mean, <coughs> for me, if if the likes of Alvarez are 80% fit, if Emerson's 80% fit, they, they play for me. I don't see the point in in playing a lesser team for this game because this game is crucial. Yes, the Premier League is crucial, but it's one game. That Wolves game is one game where this one game can, as I said, save us games. And also, it gets us more money as well. Realistically, this one game, from a business perspective, will earn you more money than if you beat Wolves. Arguably, you know, obviously a place every Premier League spot is about half a million quid, um, but that obviously takes into account the whole season. This obviously, then you win your you win the game, so you get money for winning the game. You'll also get group winners' money. You'll also get qualification for last um, because you've already bypassed the the um, the playoffs. That's money for that, and you go into the last sixteen. So actually, you probably get more money winning today rather than Sunday. 
from a business perspective. Anyway, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Um, I, I have no idea. I, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. So that's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a cathartic uh, you know, experience for everybody. So, and obviously in the comments, please give us your 11s. Um, give us the side you, you'd you want to pick. Um, and it, yeah, let's go for it. <coughs> in goal. In goal for me, it's, uh, I think Fabianski is in goal. Even if Ariola is recovered from his his um uh, what's it called his uh, wrist injury um for me fab stays in goal um don't risk uh, Ariola when you've got a bloody good keeper like Fabianski anyway for me i think we go as strong as we possibly can um it's uh, emerson um it is Aguerd, and it for me it's mavropanos Obviously, playing in the Bundesliga before, he would know about Freiburg. And then on the right-hand side, for me, this is a game for, and I can't even find his picture. Where's his picture? For me, I think this is a game for Tilo Kira. I think it's a game for Tilo Kira. Again, there's that Bundesliga experience. And I think he... What he doesn't get in terms of, I think we've got, I think, I, I just want to see him get some minutes. And I think actually it's not to the detriment of Sufau, um, but I think Sufau's played a lot of football recently and is looking a bit leggy. So give him the night off and someone like Tilo Kier can come in and make a big difference. I mean, the guy's a bloody, you know, he is a German international right back. He's no shit player. And so I think he would come in and do a good job. And that's that's a real, that back four is fucking pacey. There's a lot of pace in that back four. Um, you might not get as much overlap from Kira as you would do with Sufau, but you do get an, an outlet on the right-hand side. And I think him and possibly the person we put on the right wings will make a massive difference. He might decide to put, if Emerson's not 100%, he might decide to put Ben Johnson left side. I would not put Aaron Cresswell left side against a German side again after on Jack Frankfurt. Um, I never would. And actually, I he hasn't, for me, Cress has got no place in this side at all at the moment. And um, we've got enough cover for him, uh, for Emerson. So, yeah, the question is, is Alvarez going to be fit or not? If he is 80% fit, he plays for me because I think he's <coughs> absolutely crucial for this side. We see when he's not playing, the opposition walk through our central midfield. They just walk through it. Um, and then I would go as as, as strong as possible. Um, for me, it is, it, it is basically our Premier League squad I'd play today, or the Premier League 11, starting 11. So JWP, it is Suchek, it is Paqueta on that left-hand side, if he decides to do that. Um, it is Mohamed on the right-hand side, and it is Bowen up top. That's for me. You go as hard, you have to go as strong as you can tonight because, as I said, financially it benefits the club a lot more than the Premier than than winning at Wolves against Wolves, arguably pretty much there or thereabouts for one game. It does, um, and also it saves us games. It saves us that February um, playoffs um, where we might invariably lose and actually lose out on money because we wouldn't have qualified for the final sixteen. Um, could he do anything different? Possibly, he might decide. Um, to maybe give JWP the night off, move Paqueta into the middle, um, and bring on Ben Rama, I've heard, potentially, um, which would give Benny some minutes. And you've got that the, the holy triangle of Benny, Paqueta, and Emerson, who just love playing the three together, and that could really complement our side. Um he may, I, I think he'll always keep that, keep Suchek in just because it was Bowen up top. You lose that physicality up top. Um, he might decide instead to put Bowen on the right and put Caduceus in the, in the four, sort of the 10 spot, which, I mean, to be honest, that changes throughout the whole game. Um, one minute Bowen's up top, one minute it's Caduce, one minute it's um, <coughs> Paqueta. But I think that makes sense. Give Zoom the night off as well. Um, don't put Oggy nowhere near this side, please. Or Cresswell. Give Sue check the night off. Uh, give Sue foul the night off as well. And then you'd probably see a very similar side to this against Wolves. Um, maybe with the exception of, well, 
JLP would come in, Ben Rama would be dropped, and Sufa would probably come in on the right right back position, and then um, Zuma would come in the centre center off instead of Mavropanos, and then maybe Ariola back for Fabianski. But there we go. What do you think about that, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Um, no doubt there'll be a call for, for youth, um, which I totally agree with. However, there's so much riding on this game. So much riding on the game. Poss the possibility could be with a couple of injuries tonight, maybe, and then the illness continues, that there would be. I mean, I don't think the under-21s technically play until... Actually, do they play next week, this weekend? I think they might play this weekend, but then they don't play again until the 15th of January. So, again, that's useful because we might need them, come the AFCONs as well, um, to bring in, also give them, give them the opportunity to go out on loan as well to, in January. But, anyway, that's that's my side. That's my side. We'll see if we're right in a couple of hours' time. Keep an eye on the channel. Um, I did my match day late afternoon, my late lunch outside the stadium. Holly did a match day morning with David from Blowing Bubbles magazine. Check that out. And uh, hopefully Anton will be around for the watch along tonight. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Don't forget, we put the, the advent, ca advent calendar video up today. Every day we're doing that. Today it is Matthew Rush. Love Matthew Rush. What a player he was. What a player he could have been if he carried on going. Um, so check out that interview. All you do is be a subscriber, comment. It's completely free, and you could win. Um, you have a chance of winning some signed stuff. I'm going to send out the next batch of winning probably tomorrow when I've got five minutes to myself because um, it takes like you to write everything in. And um, Anyway, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Sample. Keep the faith, my friends. Come on, you bloody irons, and hopefully tomorrow we'll all be happy hammers and we've won the group. Maybe. Love you. Bye-bye.